Hello everyone, my name is Hani. My channel is called The Beach Life and today I'm gonna talk about the online chicken process with Carnival. This is really catered towards and focused towards uh, first time cruisers, right? That haven't really gone through the process. So I wanna, and that's a common question that I've seen in a lot of the Facebook groups and I thought, and I created a document and uh, for my particular Facebook group and for some of the roll call groups that I'm in, and I thought, well, let me go ahead and create a video and upload it to YouTube so that other people that are not in my group or groups can uh, can benefit from this information. So let me go ahead and bring up this uh, document. I'm going to just minimize my part of the video. Hopefully, you'll be able to see that. Let me, let me do that. I think that's going to be a little bit better for you to see. And uh, <clears throat> so first of all, uh, the, the, the Facebook group that I uh, have that I manage, it's focused towards Carnival Long Beach Cruisers. It's the Panorama, Radiance, Miracle, eventually the Frenze. So um, if you are not in that group, come over and join us. It's, I don't know, about 4,500 members. We are growing and growing strong. Very friendly group. We don't tolerate some of the nonsense that you'll see in some of the uh, other Facebook groups. It's, it's definitely a very helpful group. So come join us. All right, let's jump into this. So um, if you're a new, again, this is focused on first time cruisers or first time to Carnival. Um, you may be an experienced cruiser, but you know, first time cruising on Carnival. Uh, so you, within 14 days, you, you'll be able to check in. I, on the, I, actually, right at the 14 day mark, uh, you'll be able to check in. One key thing to remember is that it's midnight Eastern time. So if you are on the uh, Pacific coast, it would be 9 p.m which would be midnight Eastern, right? So the day before that 14th day mark. Hope that makes sense. So that's just one thing I wanted to note there. Um, Carnival recommends using a desktop computer uh, just in case you run into any connectivity issues with your mobile device, but you can also do it on your mobile device. And then uh, to go to the online check-in, you'll go to your carnival.com online check-in or however you normally would log into your Carnival account, like if you've already been in there, to go manage your booking. So you'll go in there and you'll notice on the left side. So this will be, again, once you're available or eligible to check in, uh, in your my to-do list over on the left-hand side, you'll see this comp complete online check-in option. So you'll click on that and then you'll start the process. So once you go into the first step, it's just uh, some information telling you, hey, let's get ready to sail, what information you're looking for. And that was really the key here is people are like, oh, what do I need to have prepared? I want to try to get through it, you know, as, uh, you know, without having to stop and do all that stuff. So anyway, that's the purpose of this. Um, so then it's going to ask you, who do you want to check in? In this particular case, I'm cruising with my best friend. So it's asking if, uh, you know, who's, who's checking in. And uh, so you'll select, if you could just do your, yourself and then um you know your friend or or family member or whoever else right can do uh there separately but in this particular case uh we're, I, you're going to see my information um so and then enter the address information here for the selected person again this is me uh you'll enter your address information in that first section then you'll move on and then you'll go ahead and you'll uh enter your mobile phone number again they use that uh, information to to you know to contact you to send you messages that type of thing so you know it's a good idea to get that information in there they'll ask for your email address again for communications if you want to opt in to receive special offers and promotions you can always check that box uh, as well or you can not if you don't want to and then the next step is uh, entering the contact information i don't know how difficult it is i'm going to take myself off the screen to hopefully see if this will make it a little bit larger for you it uh, doesn't look like it. Okay. Anyway, so the um, so the next step there is entering your emergency contact information. So whoever they should contact in case of an emergency. Hopefully that won't happen, but they need to know that information. And then you move on to the next step. And if you or the persons you're traveling with have any of these included medical conditions, then you'll be able to uh, – then you'll want to say yes and answer any questions. Uh, additional questions. If not, then you would just hit no. And then you've got your uh, travel documents. What, what travel documents are accepted? You can click on that to see, and that's what you're going to get this box here. So you'll have these travel documents, valid passport, birth certificate uh, with a government photo ID, naturalization certificate, etc. cetera. Um, and again, you'll be able to go through that information. I'm going to just kind of hang out there for just a little bit. So you have a chance to read that. Hope you'll be able to see that pretty well. All right, moving on to the next step. Then you'll go on and choose um, 
your country of citizenship, save and continue. And then uh, again, I'll pause here for a little bit so you can see, uh, you know, what, what are, which travel document are you going to use? Passport, passport card, uh, birth certificate, again, original birth certificate, naturalization certificate, original, uh, enhanced driver's license. It talks about that. Um, so look at look at all those things um, and make sure you completely understand what they're expecting. I, I in this case, I'm using my passport. So the next step is asking me for my passport information. I guess if you're pass using a passport card, you'll also need to enter your passport information off of that. So that would be the next step there. And then I just have a note there. If you select birth certificate, naturalization certificate, et cetera, uh, make sure to follow the instructions provided on that page. The next page right okay and then you'll move on to the question of are you parking at the pier yes or no then the question about if you're flying to and from the cruise okay yes or no once again and then you'll get to the arrival time uh what time you want to pick so the earliest uh, available for this cruise was 10 a.m to 10 30 a.m which is what i picked uh but it goes all the way out to 3 to 3 30. And at the Long Beach Cruise Terminal, and I believe this is for all the ships, but I know for sure on the Radiance, I, I don't want to say all the ships because I'm not sure on the Panorama or Miracle. It's been a while since I've been on the Panorama. But on the Radiance, it's typically 3.30 p.m. Um, that is the cutoff time, so as you can see there. Um, step 15 there uh, is the spending account. So you'll set up your onboard spending account. Uh, make sure to click on read about onboard expenses just so you, and I and you'll see that on the following pages just to know what that's all about. Um, you could choose credit card, which I usually do, or you can create a cash account and you got to just make sure that, uh, as you can see there, it says, please, you know, you must deposit cash at the cruise terminal before boarding. Um, and that's going to be over on the far right side of the terminal um, where you'll see the customer service area where you can do that. If you select the um, read about onboard expenses, this is what you're going to see. And again, I'll pause here for just a little bit so you can see it just talks about Carnival operating a cashless system on board. Um, and, you know, you have to have some type of an expense account, whether you use your uh, credit card or cash, that type of thing. You can set up uh, minors uh, onboard expense accounts. Uh, you can set up a limit to how much they can spend, that type of thing. So just keep that in mind. Um, and then just some questions, some FAQs about what if I have family members in another booking or stateroom? Again, I'll pause there so you can get a good look at that. And why is this information necessary? And lastly, is this application secure? Because a lot of people are like, hey, I don't want to be entering all my information in here. So it just talks about the security there. Okay. And then, uh, then you'll move on to selecting your betting preference. Uh, in this case, again, as I mentioned, I'm traveling with my best friend, so we selected our two twin bed option. If you're traveling with a significant other, you can select the one king bed. And just the one thing to note there is it says accommodations for additional guests may be available in the form of upper berths, uh, convertible sofa, trundle bed, etc. So again, you're just picking the option for the first two guests, and then after that, um, uh, it could be one any one of those things, depending on what cabin you select, right? So. Uh, make sure you're aware of what type of cabin you're getting and what uh, accommodations. So uh, here, just talking about uh, whether or not you want to um, share your travel information with the U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Uh, if you accept that and uh, save and continue, there's also the Smile and Go technology, which is uh, at the Long Beach Cruise Terminal. They, as you're leaving, actually, as you're going up, you'll do a face facial scan as you're boarding, and as you're leaving. Uh, they have a facial scan uh, as well. It makes the process a lot easier. Um, you know, I feel like, you know, there's no reason not to, but that's just me personally. Uh, do that smile and go technology. It just makes things so much easier. Uh, unless something goes wrong, it, it'll turn green if you need to go through. If it turns red for whatever reason, then you'll have to go talk to a Customs and Border Patrol agent. But as long as it turns green, you just move on through, which is really nice. It makes it so much easier. So just something to consider. Uh, then you'll go into this. It just tells you that you've accepted the cruise ticket contract. That was already done. As you can see, um, my buddy Evan was going through the check-in process, and he accepted it for me. Same thing with the Smile and Go technology. He accepted it for me. And you could do that if you're you know, cruising with somebody else. Um, it gives you the option to accept it for them. So that's what you're seeing, but typically, and that's why I wasn't able to get a screenshot of it. Um, it would just ask you, uh, you know, if you read the cruise contract, you agree the terms, et cetera, that kind of thing. So, and then lastly, it, you'll get this check-in summary. 
I want to try to get this done quickly. Sorry, I don't want this to be such a long video, but feel free in the comments to, to, to ask any questions. I hope I didn't go too fast. I, I didn't want to bore you with a super long video, but I wanted to at least kind of cover this just to put your mind at ease of what to expect and that type of thing. Uh, and again, if you have any questions, feel free to drop down in the comments and I'll be happy to help answer them for you. Uh, lastly here again uh, is the check-in summary. It just shows your arrival appointment time. Uh, what, you know, if you're complete or incomplete, as you can see mine is incomplete. Uh, because I, I, I had done skip for now for a few things just to try to get through uh, and take the screenshots to create this document. And then I went back and finished everything up because there's certain things, obviously, I didn't want to share my credit card information, that kind of stuff. So I did skip for now, took the screenshot and moved on. Um, so anyways, that's, uh, and then you can just go back in and complete what you didn't complete. So that's about it. Thank you so much. If you've made it this far, uh, obviously you're a person that likes information. Uh, uh, and wants to uh, wants more for I my channel if you're new to my channel is all about providing information um, so if, if that's your type of thing feel free to subscribe to the channel I appreciate it, it costs you nothing to subscribe it definitely helps my channel to continue to grow to continue to grow thank you again for watching again lastly if you have any any questions feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them or at least point you in the right direction to get your answer thank you so much again and we'll talk to you all on the next one.